Hey YouTube! Um, I wanted to do a video on placenta encapsulation and um, so I have my supplies that I've already ordered and I showed you in my week 35 update uh, what I got. So now I'm just going to go through the steps. I haven't delivered my placenta, obviously I still am pregnant, so um, this will not be very graphic, but I'll be talking about what to do and how to encapsulate your placenta to ingest it. So um, the first thing is you need to have a storage container like Tupperware or a gallon size Ziploc bag um, or two, <laughs> depending on how big your placenta is, and bring it to the hospital with you. Um, you also need a cooler and ice. So the day of um, when I go into labor, I have my cooler ready, um, I have the bags ready to go, and my, um, my best friend who's going to be there uh, is also sort of being my doula. Um, she's going to get ice, so that is her, her task besides supporting me and rubbing my feet <laughs> and doing all the good stuff is getting ice for the cooler for the placenta, and so she's going to be in charge of placenta care, just transporting it from hospital to home or making sure it's uh, loaded in the car. <clears throat> so when you're ready to prepare your placenta, you uh, want a colander, um, like a spaghetti drainer thing. Uh, put it in the sink and rinse off your placenta thoroughly so there's no blood. Um, and then you're going to cut the umbilical cord which roots into the placenta out and then rinse it again because there will be some blood in that cord base. So rinse it really thoroughly and then there are two different ways you can sort of go from here. It's The cooking is different. You could either steam it or go straight to the dehydrator. So if you're going to do the cooking method, you want to steam it and flip it every 15 minutes, so on both sides, 15 and 15. <clears throat> Some people put like ginger root and season the water that's boiling to steam the placenta. Um, <clears throat> or, and then after it's done steaming, thinly slice the placenta up and, and then put it in the food dehydrator. <clears throat> or, once you cut out the umbilical cord and you rinse it again, just thinly slice your placenta um, into really thin strips and put it in the food dehydrator. So now we're all up to speed with being in the food dehydrator. So if you steam it, uh, it'll probably take about seven to nine hours of dehydration in order to um, make it as crisp as possible because you want to make it into a powder. So it is going to be without any water, <laughs> really dehydrated. Um, <clears throat> and also when you cook your placenta, it gets smaller, so there's less material <laughs> to work with. And then if you're just going straight from the rinsing off, cutting it up, slice, uh, slicing it up, putting it in the dehydrator, you're probably going to have more strips, but they're going to shrink down really itty bitty tiny, um, <clears throat> which is normal for a food dehydration, and it'll take longer because you haven't cooked out any of the moisture. So, um, they estimate that it would be about 7 to 14, I'm sorry, not 7, <laughs> 14 to about 16 hours of food dehydration for an uncooked, unprocessed placenta. So, <clears throat> I plan on doing the method where you go straight from rinsing it to the dehydrator. Just my personal preference is not to cook my placenta as much as possible. I want it to be as raw as possible, but I also don't want to actually eat it raw. <laughs> um, and that's why I'm encapsulating it. So once you're done dehydrating it, you will uh, put it in the food processor and turn it into a powder. And then you have to either by hand sort of make a cone and fill in every capsule, put a cap on it and all that stuff. But I bought this Cap'em Quick encapsulator and it has all of the instructions. Um, and so what you do is you uh, 
um, set up your encapsulator with the long parts of your pills, which I also bought. And this I bought on eBay for about $31, $32. And this I bought on Amazon. They're the gel capsules that are empty for about 5 or $6. So under $40 encapsulating your own placenta if you have a food dehydrator um, and some, some basic pots and pans. You can do it at home for, for pretty cheap. So you um, load in your capsules in the bottom part and it should be the longest part and then you pour um, the powder over the, the capsules on the bottom and then what you're going to do is take uh, what they call a tamper and pack down each of the pills and it sort of has the grooves in it for packing the pills already and then you're going to refill it again to make sure that it's completely full um, and then you're going to place the capsule tops on so there will be just a little itty bitty gap at the top um, where your top cap goes on. It's not going to be full completely. And um, online it says that it should yield about 200, 100 to 200 capsules. So uh, for $40 I think that's a pretty good deal. <laughs> a lot of women have um, talked about the benefits of being um, their mood was stabilized, they didn't feel postpartum depression um, as severe as they would or they did before. Um, they also talked about lactation, um, having a, a good supply of milk, which I think is very important if you're going to breastfeed. Um, and the, um, the lady that actually came to my birthing class that talked about placenta encapsulation talked about how like your placenta gives you all these hormones and that's why we're emotional and um, you know all of these different things that go along with pregnancy um, and then once you deliver your placenta those hormones just drop completely so this sort of helps you taper off your hormones in a in a more gradual way and she actually said that she would wake up um, in a panic at night um, feeling just like um, anxious and not good and she would take a couple of her placenta pills and then it would be good and she would feel normal and and yeah so I think that that's a pretty good use of money and um, my time so I think my husband will help me uh, encapsulate my own placenta um, at home because that lady charges $250 to encapsulate placentas. Now granted, she's touching somebody else's organs, <laughs> which, um, which I understand there's like a gross factor to that, but um, if you at all find it interesting or you don't mind it, then I think that you should attempt it yourself because there's really... There's nothing that you could do. Your, your um, midwife, your OB, will actually look at your placenta once it comes out and make sure that it looks healthy and give you the okay and have you take it home. So if it didn't look healthy, I'm sure they wouldn't let you take it home. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's what I plan on doing with my placenta. If you have any questions, um, let me know. And I will probably make another video about my actual experience encapsulating my placenta and tell you how easy or hard it was. Um, but I've dehydrated fruit before and I sort of anticipate it being something like that. <laughs> but there's blood involved. <laughs> All right, ladies, let me know if you have any questions and I will talk to you uh, next week. Bye.